Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 99 for the XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the page file name and I'm going to talk about how to come up with names for your pages. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I had a YouTube viewer request about the topic of page file names. They felt a little overwhelmed with trying to figure out what to name their page. So I'm going to talk about how to come up with some names and I'm also going to talk about some suggestions that I have that I think would be relevant for you in terms of naming your pages. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to actually show you my personal website and show you the strategy that I use to name my pages for the page file name. So we're right now we're looking at my page for where I sell website templates and if you look at my page in layer gallery I don't know if you can see it here because it's really small text and there's a lot of information behind it but it says buy XR web templates and the reason that I wrote that is because on this particular page I'm selling website templates for the XR software so I wrote the word buy dash or hyphen uh, XR hyphen web hyphen templates and that's the reason that I wrote it that way is because I wanted to keep it relevant to what the page is about another recommendation I have in regards to naming your page file names is not just keeping it relevant but keeping it short you know short as possible I recommend no more than four words in your page file name and if possible try to keep it as low as two to three that way if someone wants to get to a certain part of your page and they can't find it through your navigation menu then they can just type in that URL if they remember it and actually go to that direct page that they want to go to and I'll show you what I mean in my web browser but this is one example of how I've named a page in my website and if we go to my next page here again this is another page that's related to selling website templates in this case I just wrote XR templates because it's still related to website templates for the XR software so instead of writing by XR web templates I wrote XR templates and I just wrote XR hyphen templates so try to use that strategy to help you with naming your your page file names just think about the type of content that you have on your website and try to come up with a name that's relevant so let's go ahead and go to my website and actually take a look at what a page file name looks like when a person is surfing your website. So we're now at my website and we're on the first page of the website templates that I have for sale. And if you look at your web browser, at the top you'll see that it says buy XR web templates .htm. And that's the page file name that I set in my website document and if we go back and we look at my website you'll see if we go back to that first page it says buy XR web templates and if we go back to the website in our address bar up here in our web browser it says buy dash or hyphen XR hyphen web hyphen templates so that's what the page file name is it's the extension on top of your domain name that represents that page's file name for that particular part of your page in the website so remember that this is going to appear in your your uh, web website URL address bar so try to keep it simple and make sure that it makes sense because let's say that I couldn't find this particular page on your website I know that based off of this URL all I have to do is type xartemplate.com forward slash and then buy hyphen xar hyphen web hyphen templates dot htm that's something that you could potentially remember to type in your url address bar so i hope that that answers your question about naming your page file names in the xar web designer software if not if you have more questions please feel free to send me a message on youtube don't forget to embed comment subscribe give us thumbs up and share this video if it was helpful and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.